30, a woman was shot while working, while rather walking home from work, seemingly because the gunman was just looking for a target, any target. Weeks later, police still had little to go on to find the person who shot her. So she decided to get Marty to get justice. <coughs> Denise Golden clutches her chest, feels tremendous pain every time she coughs. Sorry. And apologizes for it. Wait a minute, honey, I gotta catch my breath. Denise was shot in the chest here along Brownsville Road in Mount Oliver, July 20th, walking home from her job at McDonald's about 12.30 a.m. For all intents and purposes, she should be dead. They took half of my lung out while I got shot. This is where paramedics found Denise Golden's body. A bullet lodged in her chest, left for dead. They said you died. What does that mean? I literally flatlined twice. She was in a coma for weeks. Her recovery described as miraculous. Her mission now, find the men who shot her for no reason. They just wanted to shoot me and leave me for dead. She knows this because she had a full paycheck on her. Shooter didn't take a dime. Not for a nickel. Nothing. Veteran police detectives say this surveillance tape actually shows the suspects walking up and down Brownsville Road in Mount Oliver looking for a victim, any victim. Stalking, hunting, those are great words. Detectives disgusted by this shooting. She is a truly an innocent victim. They basically just uh, got her attention and shot her right in the chest. For sport? It very well could be. Just uh, for their own entertainment, possibly. Police have no suspects. Put this video on Crime Stoppers, offered up to a $1,000 reward. No luck. That's when they came to us. We have to thank you for, for being able to raise uh, $5,000. Police convinced the money will deliver suspects. In the past, when we offered uh, thousands of dollars for information, uh, people seemed to come forward. Here at the Mount Oliver McDonald's, where Denise worked, franchise owner Michelle Rice was happy to donate $1,000 to the reward fund. She's just an innocent victim, and you know, it's important to me that it gets solved because I think she deserves justice. A local Pittsburgh property owner, a dry cleaner, a pizza restaurant owner, donated thousands more, don't want their names used, but express the same sentiment as McDonald's does. We take it very personal. I mean, she's part of our team here at McDonald's, and it's important to um, our company that we um, put some money in to help find the person that did this. Denise's husband, Dan, is plastering the $5,000 reward posters all over Mount Oliver, hoping the additional money will deliver a suspect, allow his wife to have justice. I want to know why they did this to me. Uh, what did I do? I, uh, nothing. I never do nothing I, other than walk home. And I always say hi to everybody. It's a horrible crime, but I have to say this. There's greatness in the men and women who anonymously donated $5,000. So right now there's a $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of suspects in this shooting July 20th on Brownsville Road. As police say, folks know who did this. The suspects are described as black males in their teens, early 20s. If you do know, please call police at 412-323-7161. That's 412-323-7161. Remember, you can remain anonymous. That's kind of frightening. That they mm. walked by, mm. uh, you know, they hunted. They, they, they hunted. said she was hunted out of sport. They obviously need to be taken off it's the ridiculous. street. But getting them off the street, this reward may help do that. But some people sometimes don't like to think of paying somebody for that kind of information. What's well, an excellent, excellent point? But but look, I, I tell people this all the time: undercover informants, DEA informants, are paid millions of dollars a year. Even folks giving terrorism information regarding ISIS, they're part of that. They're paid reward information. It moves the ball, honestly. Mm -hmm. And so if it works, and if this $5,000 gets these folks off the streets because they could shoot somebody else yeah, that, that's in the frightening sport, part. let's right. do it. And she's, I want to thank everybody that donated. It's amazing, their kindness. And she's lucky that she's alive. It's unbelievable. She, she stopped breathing twice. Uh, she mm -hmm. flatlined twice on the street, and the EMTs saved her. Amazing woman. So well, sweet. Hopefully this money will get somebody to talk yes. and find out who this yes. guy is. And we will, we'll have that surveillance video up on our website, yes. so in case you want to take a closer look and take another look at it, you can go to kdk.com. And if you have a problem, you would like some help from Marty, email getmarty at kdka.com or give us a call, 
four four.